And hello, this is Mike Lodge, the business advisor. Listen, I had to come back and do a second podcast for the day because I'm so pissed off. I really am pissed off because, you know, we 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 have I have lived through history. I have seen uh, dictators fall. I have seen presidents fall, but yet it seems as though that in these countries, people forget. People just put them to the wayside and say, "Oh." That was that was a long time ago. We're not gonna we, we're not gonna worry about it anymore, and that has what that is what has happened to the Philippines. I don't know what possessed them. I do not know what was going through their mind. I don't know what their thought process was, but it was a really shitty thought process because what they did is, as of yesterday, they voted in Ferdinand Marcos' son as the president. Now, you have to go back into history, back into 1986. 1986, in the early hours of a February morning in 1986, Ferdinand and Imelda Marcus flew into exile. They had to leave. The nation had erupted. They had had it with the, the, the Marcuses. They had stolen billions of dollars of U.S. money that had gone into the Philippines for the help of the people. But the Marcuses stole it. There's still, at, at this very day, there's over $10 billion that's still missing. What happened? Where is that $10 billion? And yet, you vote in the son of the guy who ripped you off. Marcus had rigged, he had rigged one too many elections. That family knows how to rig elections. And yet, if you look at the numbers, there's no way that Marcus today is getting that many votes. There just is no way. There is, uh, they, they must have been, they, the people of the Philippines must have been watching the United States and how we rigged our last election. So, oh, we can do it. If America can do it, we can do it. Filipinos, what were you thinking of when you voted this man into office? You knew the corruption that this family still holds in their hands, and yet you voted another Marcus in. Or did you? Are those votes really true votes? Are they are the numbers just not jiving up to what would be ethical? I put those questions out there because this family knows how to rig votes. This family knows how to rig elections. This family knows how to steal money. This family knows every corrupt issue that there is on how to be a president of the Philippines. And yet, and yet, you voted them in again. Now, we in America, we still remember that. We still remember the day that that fell and he had to leave. And all of you guys rushed into the mansion and saw all the shoes and all of the gold and all of everything, all the diamonds that they had accumulated and all the artwork that was in the mansion that was all gotten by stolen money. And here you have an individual who is the son of this corrupt family and you voted him in again. So I'm asking you, what in the world were you guys thinking when you went to the ballot? Did you legitimately cast your vote for a corrupt family? I mean, we did it here with the Bidens. There's a corrupt family here too. We did it here. So I have, I don't know what the Americans were thinking here. Was it my vote? But for some reason, we got a corrupt family inside the White House. But you guys have seen this guy before, you have seen his family, you've seen his mom and his dad and how they treated all of you when they were president, and yet, (laughs) I laugh at this because it's so foolish you voted in the son of a dictator, of a ruthless politician, of a ruthless individual who controlled the Philippines with an iron fist and took your money at the same time. And you say, oh, you know what, let's forgive and forget. Let's just forgive and forget and let's vote these people back in. 
when you invite an ethical families into office, the only thing that's going to happen is unethical activity. This is not going to end well. You know it. It never has. But you see, it was the it was the desire. <clears throat> it was the desire. It was the dream. It was it was the goal of Emilda Marcus to have her son Bong Bong or Boo Boo or whatever his name is to become president. Who would name their son Bong Bong or Boo Boo or Bong Bong or what, whatever the name is? Who would ever name their son that way? Who would ever vote for somebody with that name? I just don't get it. Bong Bong, Boo Boo, Boo Boo, whatever the name is, has so much corruption in the family that you will never have any ethical government again. As if you have one now. But you had a chance. You had a chance to vote other people in that could do something different for the Philippines. Instead, you, you voted in the same old, same old, same old corrupt politicians that will run your country again. And all these people that used to be around the Marcuses are going to come again and they're going to start taking and taking and taking. I bet you right now Amelia Marcus's purse is open waiting for that money to flow into her purse. Now she's got a, a Louis Vuitton purse. Has some, has some room in there. You guys, <clears throat> I look at this. I mean, I have done business in the Philippines for so many years. And I have seen all kinds of corruption. I have had my driver shot in the face. I have had people following my car. I have had all kinds of, of nonsense happen in the Philippines. And you had a chance. You had a chance to have a really, really good politician to come in. You had a chance. But so what did you do? What you you went to the polls and you voted in a a Marcos, an individual that is so corrupt and so evil that you're not going to have any positive results. If you think your economy is going to turn around, it's not going to. Marcos knows nothing about the economy. Just like Biden knows nothing about the economy. That's why we're in such inflationary mode here in the, in the United States. It was a bad choice by the American people. Or shenanigans. Just like you're having shenanigans right now in the Philippines. You have no idea. You cannot remember history. History. Come on. Go back and look at what happened. Go back and view the tapes. Go back and view the, the documentaries that have been... I just barely watched a month ago. I watched the documentary on the Milda Marcus... And her whole goal, her whole drive, her whole thrust in life was to get her son to become the presidency. <clears throat> this has always been the designing goal of Emilio Marcus to get the Marcuses back in the president's mansion. It's always been her goal. She, she worships it, she thinks about it. She talks to people about it. She pushes agendas. She, she, if there's anybody who's going to be in charge of this nation, as long as Emilda Marcus is alive, she's going to be pushing the buttons. And she's going to come back and get back at every single one of you who went up against her. It's going to be, it's going to be a bloody mess. But you voted her in. You made that decision. What you did is you didn't vote for Bong Bong or Boo Boo or whatever his name is. You voted for Imelda. So, when things happen in your country, just remember, that was your vote. That was your decision. That was your desire to have that person in charge that's now coming after you. There's a lot of names out there. You don't think they've kept the list of names of who they wanted to get back at? The families that they wanted to take down? The institutions that that broadcast everything about them? Oh, you don't think that's not 
They're not going to come after that? Oh, my gosh. These are vindictive people. These are not peaceful people. These are people who want to rebuild their name, and they're going to come back against anybody who went against them, who forced them into exile. I'm truly dismayed. I'm tr- truly dismayed at my country, too, of how we voted in a corrupt leader. A leader that doesn't know what they're doing. Who doesn't even know where they're at. But you had a chance in the Philippines to really make a change. You really could have made a change. Look at the history of what's happened ever since then. You have had... Estrada, who was forced out of office. You have had Gloria, who was forced out of office. Every single one of the people that you have chosen have not had a good result on the nation. Even the current president that is there has been a ruthless dictator. And here you had a vote. You had a chance to make a difference to your country. Listen, it's a good lesson for us here in America, too. In fact, all over the world, that your vote really does matter. Unless somebody is manipulating the vote. That's the question that you guys should be asking. Who manipulated the vote? Because those numbers are way too high. Way too high. So that's my rant today on the Philippines. I've been there for so many years and doing so much business there that it just amazes me that history just repeats itself over and over and over and nothing ever changes in the Philippines. But that's your decision, not mine. This is Mike Lodge. If you want to know more about me, go to www.lodge.co.com. If you want to support my channel, go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. And I'll be more than happy to have you support me. And also read my blogs there. I do a blog on taxation and business and everything else there. Again, this is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. Everybody go out and have a great day. And listen, Philippines, your vote matters. Do better. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.